Hello YouTube, Michael here, my novice wild camper, welcome to my channel, thanks for clicking on the video, um, I'm out again heading to Dartmoor for a change, um, mainly to do a bit of a review on the Nature Hike 60 litre backpack that I um, did the unboxing of on my previous video, I'm going to be doing about a two mile hike or so um, there and then back again, hopefully staying at Great Mist Tour and uh, I'll do a review and overview of the backpack uh, when I get there. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please um, hit your thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the uh, hit the notification bell. And um, yeah, if you like it, thumbs up, put a comment below and I'll uh, catch up with you when I get there. Cheers. Um, heading up to Great Miss Tour, which I think is that tour over there. One of those. Um, I'm going to be doing a review today on the new backpack. So, uh, using it in anger, the Nature Hike 60 litre plus five, which I've got. Round full, it's got all my gear in it, fitted in perfectly well. Came in at under 10 kilos as well, so quite happy with that. Um, I've had a couple of questions asked about the comfort of the pack, and obviously I haven't really used it yet. There was a YouTube video from a lady who bought the same pack, raved about it, and then used it and said it was completely useless because the aluminium frame in the back was digging into her back and she's quite short but then her partner used it as well on a hike uh, he's six foot plus or he's very tall anyway and apparently had the same thing now i don't know if she's got a duff one um, or hasn't adjusted it properly because there is the uh the base pad <coughs> has got an adjustment section so you can change where you put the uh hip bell and me, God, I'm so unfit. Me uh, wearing it now, and when I put it on at home, that metal frame is about an inch or so away from my back, more. So uh, yeah, it's not interfering at all. And there was another recent video where a guy did a 22 mile hike with the same pack. Never had the issue, so I'm thinking maybe she hasn't adjusted it or it's a tough one. But I'll do a review on it, how it feels, and uh, catch up when I uh, pitch up tent. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment below with any questions or queries about the pack. It feels great, much more comfortable than my OEX. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. And I'll uh, update you in a bit. Cheers. I've come out a bit late this evening. About uh, four to seven, sunset apparently is at before eight o'clock. So I'm hoping to get to somewhere that I can pitch up relatively near water um, before the sun goes down, rather than put the tent up in the dark. But we'll see. Um, didn't think I was going to get a sunset tonight because the uh, it was very cloudy and it raining all the way down, but it seems to have cleared up now. The sun's out. Still a few clouds. Hopefully get some nice photos and uh, enjoy a nice sunset.
So that was Little Miss Tor uh, that I saw initially. Great Miss Tor just behind it, a lot of miles away. Um, so far, backpack's comfortable. I did this the uh, miniature baby water bottle holder on the side when I uh, did the unpacking, but I know that it fits a uh, 400 mil smart water bottle, so you can put it in there, it just doesn't fit my 800 mil ones. It's not a smart water bottle, but it's an 800 mil bottle. So uh, it fits my glasses, the old man glasses, so that's good. And, uh, and my iPhone fits in, sorry, iPhone, I haven't got an iPhone. My uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, which is what I'm filming on, fits in there as well. A little note on the uh, side pockets in case I forget. It fits a smaller phone if you want to put it in there. Um, it won't fit my S20 Ultra, it's too big. So I'll put my work phone in there. It does fit, but um, the problem is those hip belts, obviously they, they curl around your hip. So if you put something in there that's solid, like a phone, it just sticks into you or it bows the outside of the, uh, of the pouch. So that's a bit pointless comparing it with phones, but a lot of people do. So it'll fit a smaller phone if you want to put it in there, but it won't fit an S20 Ultra. If that's of any use to anybody. sold around for miles and miles and miles except for exactly where I wanted to camp so it's whether I camp near him and annoy him or try and find somewhere else a bit further afield so I think my work around sorry about the wind beans for lunch okay I'm not gonna pitch where I wanted to but I'm gonna squeeze in the massive tent in this little spot should be quite nice up high enough to get some stunning views sunset's coming out now looking really good i'm not exactly protected from the wind but it's better than some places the sun should come up over there so yeah not where i wanted but everywhere's beautiful on Dharma. so here's the pack um, been absolutely fine on the walk up here, very comfortable. Um, the bit I mentioned about earlier on that the lady was saying is the metal frame that runs through here. At the bottom it sort of protrudes, you can see it there. You've got an inch and a half of padding there. But she was saying that it was the bottom bit there that was sticking into her back. Now that goes nowhere near me, the, the pad covers it, so I think she's got it adjusted wrong. But yeah, going back to it, I've got my stall in the side here. I have my drink bottle in there and a obligatory can of cider. So yeah, the side compression straps work. Um, the bottle holder, yeah, so you can get a 400 mil smart water bottle in there. I use it for my phone and my glasses most of the time, so it's handy to have. Um, obviously I've got these extension straps across the top here, so these unclip. Um, handy if you want to put a tent on the outside my tent's inside it so um, yeah it's managed to take everything that I need to bring with me minus jacket I don't really need that I just use it as a pillow but if it gets chilly of an evening then it's good so roll top enclosure this is folded down several times so there's there's plenty more space inside here to get more gear well, I've got it loaded up um, sub 10 kilos works really well. I took the tent out of the uh, pouch because it's sort of protruding a bit too much. I found it looked a bit odd and uh, a bit sort of top and back heavy. So I've got the tent inside here and I've just got my food and a few bits and pieces stashed in there. So yeah, so far, very impressed, very comfortable. No issues with it sticking on my back or hurting me. It's been good. 
I'll get everything out and uh, get the tent up. Tents up, the main part anyway. Um, took a bit longer than I uh, would normally do because the they only supply um, four guy outlines with it, so I had to order some new ones. Um, I didn't have enough still to go all the way around it, but I didn't position one here. And at the moment, that's what's taking the wind battering. So I took one off the back and put it on the front, so it took a bit longer. One of the things I don't like about this tent, I'm finding uh, the more I use it, is these toggles. They're not elastic, as you can see it's already coming out, so it doesn't hold it tight. So you put it on there and it just sort of falls out after a while. And I'll see if I can find a way to change them to elastic ones, which are obviously much better. It's a bit more taut up here, holds it in, but it's just, that one's a bit all over the place. Right, let's get the rest of the pack sorted, get some food on. Lovely uh, sunset coming in nice spot definitely could be worse not at the pitch I wanted to be at but this will do nicely That's me set up for the evening. Excuse the mess, decided to keep my uh, pack in the tent. It's a bit wet everywhere outside. So, uh, nothing extravagant tonight, but I'm gonna try. I've not had any of these camping meals before. So I've got a wayfarer, meatballs and pasta. Wash down. I couldn't find my usual cider on the way up here, so I had to pitch for Strongbow. I might be doing it an injustice, but I think the only time I've ever seen anyone drinking Strongbow, it's been on a park bench in a brown paper bag. Well, we'll see what it's like. Can't beat that for a sunset though. I don't think I was going to get anything today. Absolutely stunning. So I think I mentioned before the uh, Trangier with my little uh, homemade pot stand was a bit too... Uh, low there wasn't enough of a gap between it to get the best power out of the Trangia and the uh, the sweet spot as they call it so um, got these from Aliexpress about three pound including postage to go on top of it. it should work out a little bit better I'll put it on and update you as I go right well that's my um, pasta and meatballs done um, so it's the first time I've had anything um, as in a camping food <coughs> from Wayfarer this one and yeah it was, it was good it was nice it did taste uh, did taste pretty good, not quite like a mum I used to make, but you know, it'll do. Um, could have been with being a bit bigger, it's a problem. I'm uh, I'm not a small chap, as I said before, I'm six foot four, it takes a lot to fill me up, but it'll do for now. I've got some bars as well, so I'm gonna. I need some water. The idea was obviously to get here a bit earlier tonight, pitch up, and then uh, saunter down to a river that's not too far away, but I, I got here late then spent another 20 minutes or so trying to find a pitch because someone had pinched my spot um, and now it's pitch black so I'm gonna have to walk down to the river in the dark hopefully get there and, uh, and get back it's looking a bit dark out there so hopefully I don't get lost if you don't hear from me again that's why so 
the first time I use my little uh, super cheap head touch. I think I got it from Go Outdoors. It was only about four quid or something. Works really well. Quite impressed. Assuming I can climb my way back. Hopefully. Well, I can hear water ahead, so I'm hoping I'm going to get there. I'm hoping not with a splash as I arrive. Um, it's a good half mile to the stream over boggy, dodgy terrain. So not been easy. And the walk back is going to be all uphill, so even harder. There you go. Well, I made it. Finally, I'm thinking I should have just camped somewhere around here. Would have been a lot easier. Right, let's get some water. I head back up. Well, I'm definitely going to upgrade the MSR trail shot because that took too long to fill those two bottles. I'm not believing in rushing things when you're wild camping, you should enjoy it. But that was painful, particularly when you're squatted at a riverbank with your quads and your knees burning, pumping away with a little trickle coming out of it. It's ridiculous. So I'm thinking a Katadin B3, I think it is. It's going to be on my shopping list. So, one of the reasons why I'm getting into wild camping is one, I think I'm going to enjoy it, and two, try and get myself a bit fit. I'm about halfway back up the hill to the tour from the water, and uh, yeah, being crouched on my knees for that amount of time <coughs> has not done me any good, and I'm absolutely shattered. So, hopefully, I'll make it back. <laughs> um, I've had a few operations on my knees, so they're not the best. And yeah, doing that was not not ideal. And it's pitch black. Can't see a thing. Even with the torch. I think I'm going in the right direction. Um, yeah, had to stop for a break. Oh, carry on in a minute. So I've got a an O light torch about a 200 meter throw which I thought well if I get lost I need some direction I can use that but now it's gone all misty and foggy so that's not even working I've been checking on view ranger I think I'm heading in the right direction the shimmy is working what I will say is if you haven't got a view ranger get it because it's a godsend when you plan a route and you deviate and you can follow it back right I made it back so just to reiterate um, if you haven't got a view ranger get it um, it's handy for plotting your routes anyway so if you're planning to go somewhere you can set the route show you how far it is and you can follow that once it becomes active and if you deviate off you can look back at it and it seems to work all the time uh, with or without a signal so um, yeah coming back from that that uh, little river one was a slog uphill um, and in really marshy boggy ground but two I got completely lost at one point um, mist came down couldn't see a thing really in the head torch um, just where my feet were going my O-light didn't really make much difference it was like putting your headlights on full beam in the fog it just blinded you so I used view ranger just kept plodding on and I finally saw a glow of my tent in the distance which was the uh, nicest feeling I've uh, I've had in a while <laughs> seeing that light that I left on and uh, yeah it got me home so uh, I'm back in the tent I'm alive I made it um, I'm probably not going to do much uh, much more filming tonight, it's pitch black, I'm going to finish my drink, have a coffee and then settle down for the night and hopefully get a good night's sleep and I'll catch up in the morning. Cheers guys. I'll never see my own shadow on a cloud or in the mist before. <laughs> Quite eerie.
sunrise this morning. It's about half six. It's thick fog. Mist. So I didn't really wake up to the view I'd hoped. I had a fairly decent night's sleep though. Just putting breakfast on. Sausage and beans this morning. Right, coffee is on. Trying bags again today, but I've got the uh, Nescafe Zero Espresso Roast, which um, I tried on the camping holiday the other week, um, family holiday, and it was pretty good. And again, I'm trying a Wayfarer breakfast, beans and sausages. Should see me back to the car. track back to the car through the mist. It took me a while to get back on track but again view ranger helped. Um, so yeah it's been a really good app I think for planning your trips and also getting you out of the mire if you get stuck or lost. Um, so yeah I'd recommend downloading it. You do have to pay a subscription to go for the full uh, pro version but um, you get quite a lot with it as well so I think it's quite good. Um, I'm gonna finish the video here because I'm just uh, just heading back to the car, probably about 20 minutes away now. Um, so I hope you like the video. Um, it's only a brief review of this bag. It's been very comfortable. It fits everything in it that I had in my OEX, which was apparently 20 liters bigger, and there's still space to go. Um, sits well, no back aches, very maneuverable. I found it. I felt the OEX was quite bulky if I tried to scramble up rocks or any kind of dodgy terrain it was real it was off centered um, and I was off balance but this is more compact um, and just sits better on the back again I'm six foot four maybe it suits taller people I don't know um, but yeah if you want to get it I'll leave a link in the description below it's on AliExpress you can find it anywhere but um, it's a great bag and value for money uh, when you compare it to the likes of other either frameless packs which have their downsides of having to have a padded bed on the back of it which then makes it even heavier so I think that defeats the object um, as a framed bag it's it's very light um, unless you go and spend two or three hundred pounds on a an ultra light Osprey or something so uh, yeah anyway if you like the video give it a thumbs up please comment below any thoughts or questions, happy to answer them. And um, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get uh, notified of my other videos coming out. Um, should be going off to Brecon Beacons later on this month, which will be a first for me um, in uh, collaboration with another YouTuber. I won't say who yet, I'll announce it nearer. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again.